So you've discovered how fun and life-changing getting into the world of two wheels can be. And you've gotten the proper gear, taken the proper lessons, and got that special restriction on your driver's license, which is really important. Because if you don't have that special restriction and you get into an accident, even if it's just a fender bender, wala kang laban dito sa Pilipinas. Because technically, you're not supposed to be on the road on two wheels. Anyway, everybody makes mistakes. And that's okay, we're all human. And we learn from them. So here are the five most common mistakes a newbie rider will make from behind a desk. First up is not wearing protective gear even on short rides. Yes, I know, mainit sa Pilipinas. So sometimes we all have the thought process of, I'm just staying in the neighborhood. I don't need to wear the proper gear. Please get out of this bad habit. Always wear your gear, especially your helmet, even if you're just running some errands near where you live. We never choose to get into an accident. It just happens. Control what you can control and wearing the proper gear is something that you can control and should always do. The second one is really just more annoying and embarrassing, and this has happened to most riders at one point or another. Let's say you're with your riding buddies and are about to ride out. Then you hear someone yell, guys, wait, my bike won't start, help! Or it starts, but it shuts off. Or worse, if you have a bike that doesn't have a side stand sensor and you start moving, the side stand hits the ground and you drop the bike. So always remember, make it a habit to look down to your left to check if the side stand is still down. I mean, it's that simple. All you gotta do is that motion. That's it. I made it so much of a habit, I can't stop doing it. The third item is something that happens even to some veteran riders, but it usually does happen to many beginners. Unlike cars, most MCs don't have self-canceling indicators. And it does get really annoying for other motorists on the road and the ones you are riding with if you forget to turn off the indicator once you have made a turn or changed lanes. It also could be a safety hazard, so keep that in mind next time you use the indicators. Now here's a little bit of a tip. Every time I use it, I keep my thumb on the controls for the indicators. That way I'll know if I turn it off or not. Next is something that even I get too lazy to be vigilant about, especially during the rainy season. If your chain is not in good condition due to rust and gunk, it not only looks bad, but it also could reduce your bike's performance. Seized up links add a lot of resistance to an MC's drivetrain, and rust can severely impact the chain's rigidity, making it prone to snapping, and prematurely wearing your gears as well. Cleaning your chain is a fairly easy, straightforward maintenance task, which you should perform at least once every other week, sometimes more depending on your riding conditions. Calendar, Friday, clean chain. Yeah, I have to put reminders for myself so I'm not lazy. And finally, we have one that is all too common. Forgetting to check your bike's tire pressure is something that even intermediate riders tend to do. Sometimes riders just take one look and say, okay na yan. The best is really to just check. Having properly optimized tires can elevate your riding experience. It can help you improve your riding skills and ultimately result in a safer MC. It just takes a few minutes of your time to check your tire pressure and top it up with either a compressor or a floor pump or those handy electric portable ones. It is a good habit to check your tire pressure before going out on a ride. And while you're at it, you also look at the condition of your tire. Well, folks, there you have it. The five most common mistakes a beginner rider will make. And that's okay because we learn from these mistakes, as I said a while ago. Now, once you've mastered them, then you'll understand what the lifestyle of motorcycles can be. It's not just great for mobility. It's also great two-wheel therapy. So go, enjoy and explore, but most especially, stay safe. All right, guys, for some great deals on some MCs, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rufino from Behind a Desk.